Revival in the Orphan Houses In giving the statistics of the previous year, 1871-72, to I referred already to the great spiritual blessing which it pleased the Lord to grant to the orphan work at the end of that year and the beginning of this. But as this is so deeply important a subject, I enter somewhat further and more fully into it here. It was stated before that the spiritual condition of the orphans generally gave to us great sorrow of heart, because there were so few, comparatively, among them who were in earnest about their souls, and resting on the atoning death of the Lord Jesus for salvation. This our sorrow led us to lay it on the whole staff of assistants, matrons and teachers, to seek earnestly the Lord's blessing on the souls of the children. This was done in our united prayer meetings, and I have reason to believe in secret also. And in answer to these, our secret and united prayers, in the year 1872, there were, as the result of this, more believers by far among the orphans than ever. On January the 8th, 1872, the Lord began to work among them, and this work was going on more or less afterwards. In the new orphan house number three, it showed itself least, till it pleased the Lord to lay his hand heavily on that house by the smallpox, and from that time the working of the Holy Spirit was felt in that house also, particularly in one department. At the end of July, 1872, I received the statements of all the matrons and teachers in the five houses, who reported to me that, after careful observation and conversation, they had good reason to believe that 729 of the orphans then under our care were believers in the Lord Jesus. This number of believing orphans is by far greater than ever we had, for which we adore and praise the Lord. See how the Lord overruled the great trial occasioned by the smallpox, and turned it into a great blessing. See also how, after so low a state comparatively, which led us to prayer, earnest prayer, the working of the Holy Spirit was more manifest than ever. 